What's up? It's Trav, Trav Builds here. How's it going? It's been a while, like a month and a half, I think, since I uploaded a video. Got the old 4.8 LS next to us here. Looking pretty good. Not looking too bad, huh? Dogs over there making a ton of racket per usual. Uh, so yeah, what's going on everybody? It's been a while. In this video, we're not doing any work. I know, go ahead, exit out of the video now, but you, you probably shouldn't. Just saying, stick around. It's not gonna be a long one, don't worry. Uh, this is basically an update video. Um, kind of bring everything together, let you guys and girls know where we're at, what the next step's gonna be. Um, so, with that being said, the C10 project is kind of getting put on the back burner. As you know, if you're watching this, it's September 3rd, I think. Uh, whether you like it or not, winter is coming. If you live in New England, you know what that means. Like once it hits September, the temperatures drop, you get that fall feeling in the air, and you gotta get stuff done before, you know, the S word, S-N-O-W, you know, that word, I don't want to say it, before that stuff arrives. So if you've been with me since the beginning, uh, you'll know I have, a, the, what started this channel was my, my putting a plow on my four-wheeler. So I got to get some work done on that. I 100% neglected that thing. It sat outside literally all season, and I've probably ridden it around the yard twice. So I gotta do some fluid changes, the back brakes are sticking, I gotta take care of that. I gotta get that thing ready for winter, uh, you know, in case I need to use it. And then I have house uh, uh, house projects that I need to get done before winter, both inside and outside. So those take, you know, precedent here. Those are a lot more important. So yeah, the truck's getting put on the back burner for a couple months anyways. Uh, but what have I done since my last video? I've done a lot, I didn't film any of it. If you do YouTube, you'll understand that sometimes filming can be a complete pain in the butt and you get a lot more done off camera and that's exactly what I did. A couple weeks ago, I took this, I took that, I put them together. They made sweet love, and what are you doing, dog? He's he's going nuts. I'm not giving him attention. But anyways, we smashed those two together. I threw it in the frame over there and uh, didn't film any of it. But I did that so I could mock up my crossover pipe from my beautiful hooker header to my beautiful Dirty Dingo turbo manifold. So I did that. We'll roll you over here. Driver side, passenger side. It fits really, really, really nice. Uh, my buddy's gonna TIG weld it for me. The other thing I did, which is way over there, is I once you know I had it mocked up into the frame. I found a great spot for my turbo drain bung. So drilled a hole. Stuck that in there. My buddy's gonna TIG weld that for me as well. So once I get those back, um, I'll, I'll do a quick video, we'll put all that together. Or at least put the oil pan on. Other than that, the engine's complete uh, for the most part. I just have to buy, you know, little odds and ends here and there. Um, if you remember my video where, the, where I was torquing down my heads and I had a socket snap, and round off one of the ARP head bolts that I have. You'll know that fiasco. I called ARP, told them what happened. For whatever reason, they don't have that one in stock. So I couldn't buy a single one from them, but they were nice enough to give me the part number. I plugged it into Google. I found two places that sold single ARP bolts that I needed. One was out of stock, of course. The other one, it was like $15, put it in my cart, started plugging in my information, got to the shipping portion, realized they were in La Land Down Under, Australia, 
and uh hundred dollars to ship uh, a bolt six inches long not happening so what i ended up doing is uh, I bought a head stud, so we're gonna have one. I, it's the only thing I could find. I'm, I wasn't gonna throw a stock one back there unless I absolutely had to, but I found a head stud. So we're gonna throw a head stud where I can't put the head bolt, and we'll have one stud and, well, two if you count me driving it. Ha <laughs> ha! Dad jokes. Uh, so yeah, other than that, I haven't bought a single thing. Once I get some other projects done and I can start spending some other money, you know, on the, the truck again, we're gonna start buying some chassis components, uh, brake lines, brake fittings, brake hoses, fuel lines, fuel fittings, um, all that stuff. Stuff for the transmission. So this is a transmission that came in the truck. Turbo 400, right there on the floor. From what I can tell, it's bone stock. Pulled the pan, fluid looked brand new, so someone had just put fluid in it. When I bought this truck, if you don't know, if you don't remember from my very first video about the truck, um, I bought it, drove it on the trailer, backed it off the trailer, drove it in the garage, or backed it in the garage. So I know that first gear works, and I know that reverse works at two miles an hour. As far as the rest of the transmission, yeah. Well, I think we're gonna find out together whether it's gonna last or not. Unless I can find a good deal on the, someone who rebuilt it for me, or if I can find a good deal on a two-wheel drive 4L80E, which I haven't been able to find one yet. Local anyways, you know, there's a ton out there. I just can't find one that I can just drive a half hour and pick one up. I really don't want to have a transmission shipped, but if I have to, I'm going to cross that bridge when we get there. Um, but once, you know, once I figure out the transmission and I can bolt it back up to the engine, pop it back into the frame. Then it's really just the odds and ends. And I can put the cab back on, run the brake lines, fuel lines, start plumbing stuff up. Uh, really, it's once I get that done, it's, you know, we should be driving this thing hopefully next year, depending on how much I get done this winter too. Um, it, it's, I will drive this truck next year. Next year will be four or five years, I really can't remember. Either four or five years, I think four, since I started this project and I I need to drive this thing. I really need to drive this thing. This year I did the most work I've done out of all the years on this truck. I bought the most parts, I've done the most work. And if, if you followed along, I don't need to get into it. If you haven't, feel free to go back and, and watch my videos so you can get caught up on this build here. Um, yeah, so fortunately, like I said, broken record, truck's getting put on the back burner for a little bit, but don't worry, it's not going anywhere. The content will still be here probably, you know, every month or month and a half, you know, like usual. So I'll, I'll find something, whether it's the four wheeler again or our house projects. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll put something on the channel, but yeah, I, I wish I had more for you guys. I wish we were doing work in this video. I really just, right now, I don't have anything to do. Um, I mean, I, I could find something to do, but it would be boring and it would just take longer to film stuff than, than it would to work on stuff. So, yeah, that's where we're at. When I get the, uh, when I get the oil pan back, I'll make a video putting that in, putting the head stud in, getting that torqued down, um, and kind of basically buttoning up the engine because other than that it's good to go i'm gonna put the balancer back on which that'll be fun i'm probably just gonna heat the heck out of it and put it on there um hey everybody loves the dog they always comment about him he's the best uh so yeah there's your update on the turbo 4.8 C10 build. Uh, as you can see, I got it up on my up on my homemade lift. Just makes it easier getting the engine in and out. Plus, you're not you know laying on your back as much. And if you don't have those things, build them. I'm telling you, like literally the best thing. I don't know why it took me so long. I built those for a 
a car I was working on a couple years ago and needed to crawl under it. It was a BMW and it was like three inches off the ground. So I built those things for dirt cheap. Just They're just two by fours. And uh, man, what a lifesaver. Where were those 10 years ago when I started working on cars? Jeez, you know, 10 years ago. Jeez, it's been more than 10 years. It's literally been over 16. It's like been 16 years. So, wow, I feel old. All right, that's enough rambling. Half of you people aren't even probably watching this video anymore, but I just need to get something out there for my subscribers, all 314. I had 315 the other day. Somebody said, you know, F you and left, which good riddance to them. Didn't need you anyways. We'll get some more. I'm just kidding. I get it. I've, I've done the same thing. I've unfollowed channels for not, you know, having activity. And there hasn't been much from me lately. It's my own damn fault. So, like, comment, share, subscribe. Hopefully we'll get you another video out soon, whether it's the truck or it's the four-wheeler or something. We'll get something out to you. Um, so, yeah. If you're still here 11 minutes and almost 15 seconds later, I appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.